and um, now we can play. Whew. All right, so we are playing against um, Little Oxon or Green White, somebody or other. And this will be fine. Just kind of work our way through it. Oh, that's good. Alrighty, so we'll go ahead and play Silvergill. And we'll reveal Lord of Atlantis. Probably should have revealed Regery since that's who I'm going to probably play next turn. Oh, well, that was a mistake on my part. Yeah, this is whenever I cast a spell on their turn, or when it dies, they get a token. It's a pretty good card. Alright, I would have traded with it just to get a 1-1 one, one token on the field. Ooh, goody. Cavern of Souls. Let's do this. Merfolk, please. And I'd be happy to trade my silver gill with their voice of resurgence. Because it would be a very small token that I could then get rid of. I did not play anything. That's interesting. All right, so let's throw our land out there. I think I would like to play Regery, and then I'll get a whole bunch of other stuff. Oh well, welcome to um, the only Alley Rose. Um, yeah, I absolutely love playing more folks, what I stream most of the time, so. Welcome. Alrighty, so I'm playing Meteor Regery. And I get a trigger from this one, so we're gonna untap my Cavern of Souls. The only Alley Rose! Thank you for following! Alright, so now I've got two readers, so I'll get two untrapped tri untapped triggers every time. So we can dump my hand. Hi there, Shadow Titan! Hi there, House Toy Toyn, which I never know how to say your name. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. I'm disappointed in my record at the GP or at the open. But I had fun while I was there, so that was nice. Alright, blue, blue. Lord Atlantis. Yes, please. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. All right, and then here we can do blue, curse catcher, untap, well, we'll go ahead and tap the voice and untap a second island. Alright, and now we can attack. Yeah, probably it was me, MTG Nuclear. My record in the open was 5 and 4. 
which is pretty bad. But at least it was better than um, half. I won more than half my games. Oh no! Exile target non-angel creature you control, then return it to the battlefield under control. So he's gonna untap it and let it block with it, let it die. So this is um, Kiki Court. If we're playing against Resto Angel, probably. I mean, if he blocks, they'll just get eaten. Toyn is fine. Okay, sounds good. Hi there, Mondragon! That was awesome, I just got to dump, like, my entire hand. I actually probably should have played my Spreading Seas, then I would have had Island Walk and I wouldn't have to deal with this, but... Oh well. I'm getting warmed up. Hmm. That will kill him. Yeah, I should play my Island Walk, or my Spreading Seas side Island Walk. Let's see, we would rather kill the Resto Angel or or the Voice. Voice will bring us a 2-2 token, but that's a 3-4 flyer. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Next turn we win. It's not an awful record, I, I know. I just have very high expectations of myself, which get me in trouble sometimes, actually. Okay, I've assigned my damage, thank you. <laughs> Good afternoon, Kitty Mane. My goal was I really wanted to day two. That was what I really wanted to do, and I did not make that, which was sad. But I got so many Planeswalker points because I went ahead and played all around. Thank you for following MTG Nuclear. We're trying to figure out if there's any way they can win. Hmm. Yeah, he'd be down five more, so I still would have needed another turn. I'd be alright. I did. I actually. Woohoo! Sideboard! Um, I actually switched up my list a tiny bit, and um, I put that online. So I'm playing the deck that I took. So you can see I now have two dismembers in the main deck. I don't have Phantasmal Image at the moment. Um, some little changes like that. Nothing nothing crazy. Things that we've talked about before on stream here. If we're playing against Kiki Core, we would like our dismembers. Um, here I'm not so sure. Oops, sorry. What's up, Mondragon? Tie binder locks it on green. Oops, not negate. Alright, spell pierces are not going to be as helpful. Um, do we want Kira? Is he going to be bolting our stuff or anything like that? I'm not sure that's their plan. Um, and we're going to be on the draw, so I think we can drop a curse catcher. Alright, um, so the other one-drop merfolk that, um, 
does whatever what on your opponent searches their library. You don't want to be reliant on your opponent to uh, to be successful. Curse Catcher, it's very nice that you can counter spells and you're in charge of the extra abilities on Curse Catcher. Um, I did, I went five and four at SCGCIN, so Cincinnati. That cocoa because it's cold down here today. That is not a good hand. That is a better hand. I will keep it. Scry to a silver gill. Sweet. I mean, it's a fast clock, but you wouldn't want to play eight or more than four one drops, really. That would get really dangerous because you'd empty your hand too fast. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I'm not upset with my record. At least I won more than I lost. But. I am a little disappointed because I wanted to have done better than that. Oh, so you're playing the blue-green Morphult Company? <laughs> I, yeah, I think going another color is just makes the one of the best parts about Morphult, the consistency that you get, it really drops off the consistency. Alrighty. Silver Gill. We'll reveal Regery. Hopefully we'll draw a land. That's what we'll play next time. And we did. Awesome. No point in attacking to a wall, so pass the turn. Yeah, I'm not going to count on winning the lottery. But I have a little better chance than I do to win magic games than I do a lottery. At least I know what I'm doing. <laughs> lottery, you just scratch things off and hope. Or whatever. Or choose numbers or however it works. I don't even know. Minamo. Alright, but we'll throw the Muta Vault out here. like we talked about, so the Regery. Um, the wall's not going to kill anything, so we'll get two damage through. So we'll go ahead and attack with everybody. Yeah, that makes sense. Nuclear. Bummer! We could counter it, then we they'd go fetch now, and we just lose our curse catcher. Hmm. All right, resolves. Hi there, C four. We were just talking about that. I went five and four on day one, so I did not make day two, of course. Um, but it was fun. I played some really good matches, met some really cool people. It was great. I actually got to hang out with Chris from the Girlfriend Market um, for quite a bit. Oh, that is, that sucks, Twine. He and Kieran. I don't really mind. Also, anyone who's followed me on Twitter uh, should be well aware 
of my record. I was just tweeting the entire time. I think I saw Tom Ross like across the room, but I didn't like go up and talk to him or meet him or anything. All right. So Tidebinder does not have a target right now, which is frustrating. Um, I think I'm gonna throw Mutavolt out there and then attack with Master of Waves, or like then play Master of Waves. I don't want to attack into that because then my guys will die and then I can pass the turn. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you enjoyed the updates. I had a lot of people asking me to make sure that I posted as things were go as the tournament was going on. So <laughs> that's funny, nuclear. Sorry, almost sneezed. <sighs> I... Yeah, it would be nice to see you at uh, Cincinnati. What's the... I think I'm going to... The one in... Kentucky, I think, in a month. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's the next big event that I'm going to. Hello, opponent. Yeah, that sucks. But I'll go get land, that's cool. Yeah! Um, it's like a double mug. So I made two packets of hot cocoa in it at once. I would like an island walk lord, I think. Or just, I would like a lord, I believe. Voice of Resurgence, we can lock that down, type binder. Sweet. I'm starting to go to more of the GPs and opens. I really want to go to a lot of them, and I've. Um, I mean, it's a relatively new thing, but I really, I really want to do that. <laughs> oh, dismember. All right, well, throw up Minamo. Tidebinder Mage to tap down Voice of Resurgence, so we have a 2-2 and an 0-4 to deal with. Harbinger can come in and bounce a token. That gets rid of that for, a, for good. But we can hold Harbinger for next turn and flash it in because I'll have four mana available. <laughs> yeah, two whole back, it's revolution. Yeah, I don't really play Legacy, so I no, I won't be at the Philly one. Also, that's pretty far for me. Alright. Hmm. Okay, so they'll probably sacrifice an artifact to kill my Tidebinder Mage on their next turn. 
Hmm, I don't like that. Alright, we're gonna pass the turn. Exactly. I yeah. I want to go to a bunch of them. Who knows? Maybe I'll end up with lots of points. No attacks. Oh, that's bad. Oh, dang it. That's really bad. I missed that. I just gave them a 6-6 six, six to bounce a token. Ugh! Oh, well. But it's a 5-5 five, five now, so we can dismember it if it doesn't grow any. Don't play a creature, don't play a creature, don't play a creature. All right. We're gonna have to dismember that this time. <sighs> That's not loads of fun, but it is what we need to do. Because it will save us a lot of life in the long run. Well, to be fair, um, you can see below my sponsor is Card Hoarder, and he lets me borrow cards online. So I own Merfolk online and Merfolk in paper and a couple of Popper decks in paper, and that's really all I've got. Um, anything else that I play online, I'm borrowing from Card Hoarder. It makes a big difference. Okay, that was still worth it. Uh, two, two. If I play this guy, I can tackle some Mutavolt. And some of my other guys. Okay. At least I had that dismember to clean up my mis my mistake. All right, combat. Right, and I'm going to go ahead and attack with Curse Catcher and Silvergill, even though they would die. Because I can trade with Pia and Kieran, and I'll get two more damage or three more damage through. While clearing off a creature, so that if that voice does die at some point, um, the token won't be as big. Or, you know, if I make another mistake. Resto Angel is going to flicker Pia, probably. Get him some Thopters to trump block with. That's pretty good. Um, I enjoy playing Limited, but it's not... Um... It's harder to keep up with, and I'm trying to really get very consistent and um, like better at the game of magic. So it's easier for me to do that and to really focus on modern and I can work my way up to um, like, you know, work my way up to some of the bigger, like the IQ or something like that or Pro Tour or something. I know it's not like gonna happen tomorrow, but I can work my way there. I do enjoy drafting, but it's more of a offhanded hobby type thing. What are we doing? They're convoking. There's Court of Calling. 
Alright, so they go get their combo. They cannot pay for this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Yeah. They can't pay for it because it's too late to pay extra with Convoke. Oh! They killed my Curse Catcher. Never mind. Yeah, they're going to go get Kiki. Is that infinite then? No. Oh, yeah, and then they're gonna bounce Kiki and then they get Angel and the Kiki. But how do they win with it? Okay. Oh the resto angels get fly get haste. Got it. So I should have held my Curse Catcher back. So I could use it as a counter spell. Kiki Ward's a pretty sweet deck. Yeah, I missed the fact that they had haste, which was a, which was a problem. I can't... Okay, so I could stop um, Court of Calling with that. I probably do want this. And I'm on the place so Curse Catcher gets better. Yeah, because that was pretty unfun. So now who are we going to pull out for all of those? I think Tidebinder was not as helpful as I was hope hoping that he would be. And Master Way is probably just slower than we're looking for. Because if we can curve out and kick butt, which means we want our Reed Jesus Lords, then they can't win because we've already won. Oh, we're a card short. Um, bring a Master back in. Okay. Oh, he could have... No, yeah, he could have played around the Curse Catcher and left a land up, yeah. But they didn't, so... I mean, they didn't because Curse Catcher was on the field. Alrighty, so... Game three. Kiki Cord really is a sweet deck. Yes, I will go first, thank you. Um, two lands... Both blue sources for these creatures, so y'all keep this. <laughs> hmm. All right, there. Cavern of Souls, Merfolk. Ugh, sorry, swallowed wrong. Ugh. Excuse me. Overgrown tomb. Wait, they weren't playing black before. Alrighty. Um, so, I'll try a Wanderwine. I'm gonna play a Lord this time, so I'll just reveal Master, and then we'll cast him. Yes, um, pretty much. I also dropped down to two Honorwine Hub, and I have ten islands instead of nine like I had before. Which is because... I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what the right balance of those cards are, and I have not decided yet. Yeah, Boil is bad. Blood Moon, I mean, this doesn't normally get brought in against us because we didn't run enough basics, but stuff like that can hurt here. And I don't know. So the more you expect to see it, the more you need to have it. Alright, so we can hold Dismember up and cast our Aether Vial. Or we can cast Spreading Seas. And then next turn we can attack once our second Lord hits. Hi there, Jake and Parr. Uh, it's going pretty good. Yeah, I'm glad to be back. <laughs> Swimmingly. Yes, I like it. Alright, so it's either Dismember and Aether Vial, or it's Spreading Seas. I think I like Spreading Seas. We can hit that tomb. Maybe draw a land. I like can land for turn and play our Aether Vial, which would be good. There we go. We're not that worried about the ooze right now, so we'll just play the vial and pass the turn over. So they don't have green, but I don't want to trade my lord for it, so. Like if that were um, Silver Gill Adept, I'd gladly offer a trade there, because I'd rather have the ooze off the field. Yes, please. Oh, another spreading seas. That's good. So next time he goes, gets, you know, green or probably green red or green black. We can spreading seas that. Next turn. Okay, so. I think I just go ahead and. Lord. This guy's got Island Walk now. <coughs> um. um, chances are that they're not going to be running the second combo. You're better off just sticking with the one. But it doesn't mean that they don't. So now we have um, mana for Master of Waves, and we can Vile and Harbinger to up our devotion. But on our turn, we want to Spreading Seas, the Stomping Ground. Yeah, I know, and we didn't play, or we didn't see any black. Corsair. Hi there. Hey, buddy. Um, we didn't see any black, even lands, in game one and two, so it must be a very tiny splash, if anything. Scavenging ooze, fine. No blocks. No blocks, thank you. Yes. Alright, so, ooh, that's nice. Alright, so we can Spreading Seas hit this red, then they'll just have a Wood of Foothills again. We can hit the white, actually it might be a better choice, since there's no more white. Hi there, Rathmore! Um, then I can also cast Silver Gill and bounce Harbinger, or use Harb play Harbinger, or flash it in. Uh, I think that's my plan. So let's do this. See if we draw anything. We'll reveal Master of Waves. I don't want them to know about Harbinger. I want to use this as a trick if possible. We got a land. Helpful. I kind of want to hit that white. Of course I am, Rathmore. <laughs> Always merfolk in it. Yep, now or never. Okay, bye bye, Lord.
At least it can turn him into a land. Alright, Muta Vault. Alright, so we'll pass the turn. We're holding Vile up with Harbinger. We'll probably probably play that on there in step. Ooh, another courser on top of their library. There's not a creature. If it was a creature, put a counter on it, right? But I probably need my silver gill. I can't attack into this without island walk anyway. Oh, that's kind of tempting to just trade with the ooze right now. And then we can start. I should have waited and played the Muta Vault last time. I think I can take the two. Oh, right, and we can bounce it. Except I didn't because... Oh, no, I can do it. Yeah. Dang it. Oh, well. We will hold a district. It'll be fine. No, I'll leave it at two. One, two, three, and oh, so we have seven. Handy. All right, so. Ragery, and now I can. Let's untap. An island is fine. So we're not attacking this turn anyway. So we should get five tokens. There we go. Pass the turn. Hi there, Zath. Um, I play Merfolk most of the time, but I do also play others. I've got some popper decks. Um, I have a blue-black version, uh, Eldrazi deck for Modern that I'm gonna, like, give a shot at some point this week. Yeah, uh, thanks you, Sher thanks Sherman. Yeah, all of the decks that I own online, except of course the new blue-black one that I got recently, are available down there for you to look at. So there is Resto Angel. I'm gonna flicker the ooze. Now you have to cast the use again. Hey there, Earthworm. Oh, um, I went five and four. So, not ideal, but still better than nothing. Uh, one more than I lost. Aha, there's Court of Calling on top. So I think we dismember this Resto Angel. On instep here. I could, um, it's not a terrible idea. I was going to dismember the Resto Angel, which stops some of it. I could also dismember in the middle of, um, the Kiki combo as well. Right? So if I, if I dismember Kiki, yeah, I'll do dismember in response to Cord. Good idea. Thank you. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. I played uh, Merfolk. This is actually the exact deck list that I took. Yeah, because 
Discord for five is Kiki. I would like an island walk lord, please. Thank you very much. Yes, please. But now he's got the white, so he could easily pass this, and I lose all my island walk. Which I don't like. Is it too dangerous to go? To go for it? I don't think so. I think attacking is is a good plan here. Just so I've got so many attackers. If he passes it, he gets to kill two at most. He shuffled the cord of calling away. Cause he fe he fetched. Thanks, C4. Five, six. Wait, that wasn't for five. Oh, crap. What am I doing? Um, I have my screen set up so it's exactly the right size, pixel for pixel. Yeah, so he's going to get past with Ewet. Oh, hey there, Carrick! I mean, I can't do anything else at this point. I don't have a curse touch or anything, so I'll hit F6. He got rid of Master of Waves? I guess it got rid of all the tokens. But I still get Island Walk with all of these guys. Yeah, so I actually have like an inch um, on either on all four sides of my window where I've actually taken and made my monitor or my screen size smaller. So it's just black, it's not being used. But it makes such a big difference for all of the viewers, it's totally worth it. Yeah, <laughs> and Carrick says it looked the same time I do. <laughs> Yay, I won the match! But I had it next time. Sweet.